Money coming, money go. I've been at it. I've been at it on the low. Trapping out a while here. I keep seeing the leaders doing as we talking plans and maybe seeing you. Pull up on you, let me school. Nobody here but me and you. Got a little ring to it, turn a thing fluid in the coupe. Why you look, I know it's real. I'm on my mind, shine. I've been really getting a feel. You know why I'm here, don't act like you don't know how I feel. But let me tell you what you mean to me. Slide on me for that mean greet. Vibe with me in the moonshine, sipping moonshine to the new sky. Say it's toasted and be rain soaked in the raincoat. Hit the waves quota, I'll be flossing. I'll be locked in. I was lost here. All that turned me to a target. They be cutting on me, I'll be cautious. Then I was an adolescent, then I had a lesson, I'm the man now I got fans now, I'm on cam now, I got plans now I'm finna branch out, grew up quick, but never let go this year I put all of that in my rip hey. Blue tin papers, blowing vapors, wooden traders Long hair killer in my villa, bitch I made it Used to play the play, now I think we major now She wanna lay me down, I'ma need you to hold me all the way down Hold it down for me, say you down for me, say you Say you hold it all the way down Hold it down for me Hold it down for me Say you Say you hold it Good morning Well, what time is it? It's like afternoon <laughs> But welcome back to the channel today So, this video is going to be a little bit different um, I'm going to take y'all along with us Because we got a couple things we got to do today And let me show y'all Let me take my glasses off for one I got my little buns in Like I'm looking like I'm daggone 16 years old But I'm getting my hair done So I just threw it up like this In the meantime So it can just be I didn't feel like wearing my hair up in a bun And I didn't feel like wearing, feel like wearing it in the back so I just put it like this but anyway so this is just gonna be a day in the life today is Saturday we have a couple things that we need to do today we need to go grocery shopping so I can meal prep because we've been meal prepping which have been like oh my gosh like a lifesaver whoever came up with meal prepping like they really knew what they were doing because I love it um, but yeah so we're going to we're about to go to the hair store I wanted to go to get me a smoothie because I haven't eaten breakfast today but I'm not really hungry so I don't know if I'm going to end up going um, to get a smoothie or not I may record tomorrow me getting my actual hair done I don't know yet but I don't know I might I know for sure I'm going to take y'all along with us today because y'all haven't gotten a vlog and it's time for y'all to get a vlog. Um, so yeah, it's kind of cool. It's not hot. It's not cold. It's a little cool today. So we'll see how the weather is. I know it rained yesterday pretty much all day, um, but we got some clear skies. So it's looking, you know, like we're about to get some nice weather today. I'm just rambling like I just noticed like I just like said like five different things in one sentence but anyway I don't have on lashes today and y'all know that my go-to well I have like a couple go-to's like I have hoops all the time like I don't care about any other type of earring my earring or hoops hoops were made for me that's what I'm gonna wear that's what I like so I always have my hoops I always have lashes and I always have my nails did I got my nails done but I don't have my lashes on. I can't wait until I get my hair done. Then I can kind of feel complete with my lashes and stuff. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna stop talking and I'm gonna show y'all us going to the hair store. Um, and I don't know, wherever the hell else we end up. Y'all, I don't really, y'all see Michael on the vlog sometimes, but he don't actually like say what's up to y'all and hi to y'all. So I'm trying to get him to say hi to y'all. But I don't know. Right now he's pumping gas. Do you want to say good morning to the people? Good morning, people. <laughs> I said, oh my gosh. <sighs> anyway, I guess that was y'all a little high. <laughs> I was actually meaning like saying people when he said people. But anyway, <laughs> y'all got to see his hi to y'all. Okay, so I didn't really get to record while I was in the hair store because... I, because I was in there for a very long time it was frustrating because I couldn't find the exact hair that I wanted to get but 
I'll kind of show y'all what I got. They get another pair of hoops. Did y'all know how much I like hoops? And I got me some lashes. And then I got. Oh. I got these also to go on my braids. Um, no thank you. They're like, hold on, like little beads to just go, like, you know, the decorative beads for like the, to put in your braids to give it more of like that tribal look. And then I'll show y'all the hair. So this hair is long. <laughs> So as y'all can see, it's 54, where is it? So it's 54 inches and it's long. And that's the bottom. So I was supposed to get gold. Um, they didn't have, so I didn't, I don't like the blend look of the gold. I like the roots being black and then like the gold kind of ombre in they didn't have that that's why it took me so long in the freaking store to try to find it but they didn't have it um but i talked to the lady who's doing my hair and she did say that she had some of the gold so she'll kind of mix it in for me so i'm happy about that that i'll have a little bit of color because my hair is black and i don't really like wearing just black hair i like color so that's basically all that I got from there, although I was in the store for like an hour. I was in the store for an hour, but now we are at Smoothie King, about to get a smoothie. Um, TikTok when they be like to the salon. I was about to say that, but now we're on the way to Publix, which is literally across the street. So I will be back once we get inside of Publix. That's my green car. G wagon, white with black room, exactly like that one. But we are going into Publix. I find it pretty interesting that they have like these separate little. Um, like liquor stores that are uh, attached to like the different stores and stuff but I think that's pretty cool but yeah so we're going inside so I'm going to take you guys along with us okay y'all so we're in public oh you gotta pick out a salad dressing I don't understand why these cold these stores keep it so cold in here like I can't even think straight because it's so daggone cold. It's ridiculous. I gotta pick one for me. I'm looking at a salad dressing to pick out. Oh. Hold on, y'all. I can't. It's so cold. I can't even think straight. So we are back from the store. Um, I just got finished um, unloading all of the groceries. Not unloaded taking out the groceries, putting them on the counter, so I can kind of show you guys what we got um, for the next two weeks for our meal prep. Um, so I'm about to show y'all that now. So some things we already had here, so we didn't need to go and do like our full grocery trip like we would do. So this is just a couple of items that we had gotten for um, the meal prep for the next week. So it may not look like a lot, it may look like a lot, but we already have some food already in the refrigerator. So we got some potatoes, we got some lemons, some regular potatoes, sweet potatoes, watermelon, cantaloupe, honeydew, 
two bags of broccoli. Um, these eggs we got this time. Normally I like to get like the England's best brown eggs. Um, but I mean, these are still brown eggs. They're just not as great um, like the organic ones that we get, but they're fine for us to have for the next two weeks. Um, we got some grapes. Now, this, I'll kind of explain. These three little items, I'll explain in a second. Um, but cranberries, because I like putting um, cranberries in my salad. Um, spring mix, uh, my favorite is spring mix. So. Solid blends. We got that from him. Got some peppers, um, a lime, cucumber, and then vegetable, slaw, carrots. I got mussels because I really like mussels. And then we just got some shrimp. Um, this is a dressing that I'm going to try out the Green Goddess dressing. Um, where is okay? So, this is Michael's dressing that he likes Italian. Um, some apple cider vinegar, teriyaki marinade for our grilled chicken that we're going to meal prep, avocado oil, olive oil, Michael got some peanut butter bars, and we'll put this to the side because this is my dog's dog food. By the way, she eats the blue brand, which is expensive. She's a bougie dog. But um, I got some chickpeas because I like to put chickpeas inside of my salad. And we got some mayo and sour cream. Now, I'm really not doing any dairy um, or any carbs like that. We're doing something special. That's why we got these. Um, but, so let me go back and explain this. So, bacon bits is for Michael. Cheese and then crispy onions. So since we aren't going out, um, basically, well, let me turn y'all around. Sorry y'all, my lighting in this kitchen is not really that great. But, um, so we got the onion straws, the cheese and all that because tonight is kind of like our cheat night. Um, all throughout the week we've been doing meal prep and normally we go out, spend money, have fun. We're trying to do something different and not go out and eat at as many restaurants um so we're trying to eat a little healthier and stick to meal prep um and just have a healthy lifestyle so today it is going to be our cheat day so we are making loaded potatoes and for mines i'm gonna have i think i may do like a broccoli i think i may do like a cheese broccoli i actually just thought about that that'd probably be pretty good so the baked potato cheese broccoli and then onions on top and then a little bit of the sour cream. Michael got the bacon so he can have bacon for his. Um, but that's kind of what we're doing um, tonight for that. And um, yeah, so I'm about to put everything in the refrigerator. Um, I don't know if I'm going to actually meal prep today and show y'all. Only because, hold on. Sorry, y'all. My lighting isn't that great. Only because I'm still waiting for something to come from Amazon. And... I don't know if I want to meal prep on a Saturday. I'm so used to doing it on the Sundays. So Sundays I feel like will be a little better. So I might wait until tomorrow to do it just so I can kind of relax for the day. But I don't know. We'll see. Another quick thing I kind of forgot to mention is for my vegetables, I soak them in water and um, white distilled vinegar. And then I just kind of like rotate them just to clean it and make sure all like that chemicals and bacteria pesticides whatever they spray on these vegetables are off so I'm doing the same for like my potatoes and my lemons and things um, and then I actually use this vinegar here so it's just a white distilled vinegar um, and yeah and I do the same like if I'm cooking meats um, my chicken I'll clean my chicken with lemon um, I let it sit in the lemon water and then I kind of use the lemon and scrub the chicken just to make sure that, you know, all of that crap that they're putting on this food is kind of off. So that's another little tip that I just wanted to share with you guys. Okay, so I was telling y'all earlier how we were having a cheat day and making homemade um, loaded baked potatoes. And Michael was in here finishing the baked potatoes. I don't think I'm going to be able... I, 
pretty sure I'm not going to be able to eat too. But mine has the onion straws on top, if y'all can see. And then what do you have on, oh, you're going to put bacon on yours? Yeah, I'm going to put bacon on mine. I will show you on me, but I look crazy right now, so I'm not going to put the camera on me. But... Mm -hmm. You gotta hit it with a little salt bay action. A little what? Salt bay. <laughs> bacon bits. That looks really good. I want some onion straws on mine. Yeah, you should try it. I said I wasn't gonna have. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do one. You gotta do like your little chef, like the guy that does. That's what I said. Salt, salt bay. Huh? That's salt bay. Salt bay. Yeah, that's what mm -hmm. I was talking about. And I was like looking to see what's going on. Man, I mean, because we're fancy. Paprika? What is that? Oh, that. Parsley. Parsley. And a little smoked paprika. <laughs> bacon on mine because I don't really eat pork like that. So. And there it is. All done. I got my hair done. I really like it. Really long. I like it a lot. Um, Yeah. I think she did a really good job. Like the detailing and everything is just really, really nice. So I'm very happy um with her doing my hair i just got finished meal prepping now because i got home late i started meal prepping i think around six o'clock maybe or 6 30 i don't know but it is what time is it it is now 8 40 so it didn't take me too long um but i'm exhausted <laughs> like my sunday is about to be over because I'm gonna wind down and get ready for the work week and all that but I just got finished meal prepping so I wanted to show you guys everything that um, I had meal prepped this is everything on my counter <laughs> so first we'll start off with mine obviously my stuff is the things that's pink um, so we'll start off with my well let's start off with my lunch so for my lunch, I just have a salad that I made, um, spring mix, tomatoes, peppers, cucumbers, um, craisins, and a little bit of olive oil. Um, no meat, so I'm not having any meat in my salad. Um, so I have one, two, three, four, five for uh, lunch for the next five days. For my dinner, I have broccoli, sweet potatoes, and a little bit of grilled chicken. You see that little bit amount? <laughs> like that's all that I'm eating because that is the one cup portion. The good things about these, let me turn it around for y'all. So this meal prep, these meal prep um, containers are from BitGo. I got these off of Amazon and you can't see it, but at the bottom of them, let me slide this to see if y'all can actually see. No, you can't see. But this is one cup, and then this is two cups. So your protein is supposed to be the one cup. The two cups should be like your starch and your vegetable. Um, I'm really trying to cut out the whole carb thing. So I got sweet potatoes, but these are mine for the next five days for my dinner. I got my lunch. Now, for Michael, I packed him a salad, a little bit of bacon bits, and then some chicken. So he has his salads for the next five days. He will also be taking fruit. So he got watermelon, grapes, and some um, halos to take with him. And then for his dinner, I only packed three so far because sometimes he just eats a smoothie for dinner, depending on how hungry he is. Um, but he has, let me show you this one. So he has rice with teriyaki ground turkey and then a little bit of sweet potatoes. He doesn't like sweet potatoes, so I put a little bit for him to have, but he has three. And then this is just obviously some leftover um, teriyaki ground turkey. And then he has his salad dressing for tomorrow. But this is the meal prep. <laughs> so I meal prep once a week and I do it for the whole week. 
so we don't have to pretty much worry about cooking anything. All we would have to do is just pop these in the microwave to heat them up, um, or he would put them, um, well, in this case, sometimes if he has vegetables, he'll put it in the air fryer just so it can um, get a little crisp, but he doesn't really have anything to put in the air fryer this week, so this is our meal prep that we do. Um, now, as far as breakfast, so as far as breakfast goes, he normally has his coffee in the morning and then he has a smoothie. So for me, for my breakfast, um, I normally have a herbal tea and then I'll just have a smoothie um, for breakfast. Sometimes I do like the overnight oats, but this week I'm just focusing on smoothies because I have some bananas that I need to use before they go bad. So we're just gonna do smoothies for this week, but I am finally finished. <laughs> like y'all, it literally took me, um, a little bit of time normally I'm more organized with this um, but because I had so much stuff going on today and I got my hair did I was a little late um, but that's fine uh, but yes yeah, so I wanted to show y'all um, how I meal prep maybe I don't know one day I'll do a video with me like actually meal prepping like y'all seeing me meal prep or whatever if that may be interesting to y'all I don't know let me know but maybe I'll do that one day. But yeah, this is how we meal prep during the week. This saves a lot of time. I would definitely recommend meal prepping because you don't have to worry about the struggle of cooking dinner after you get off work. Um, so I've done it before in the past for a long time. We stopped doing it for a while. And then I was like, uh, yeah, we're going back to meal prepping because I'm not about cooking in the kitchen every single day. <laughs> So it's been helping us. Um, and then it also helps with like different weight loss goals. As far as me not eating carbs all last week, um, I lost three pounds. So I just been meal prepping, drinking my smoothies and going to the gym. So I went to the gym three times last week. The two days that I went, we just did a walk. So, um, but it was a nice walk where we, you know, got the sweat in. So, yeah, I just wanted to show you guys what I do for my meal prep. If you didn't see, uh, here is a, another quick image of the meal prep. And I'm going to start winding down because um, my Sunday is coming to an end. Um, Y'all should see my dog. She's like, <gasps> she just jumped up because I said winding down. I swear, like every time I say certain words, she knows. So she like pops her ears up. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and end this vlog here. Um, if you are a returning subscriber, thank you for coming back and watching. If you are new, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We upload videos about once a week. Um, I don't have a specific day yet that I upload videos because sometimes it changes. It can be a Sunday, it can be a day during the week. Um, but anyway, <laughs> uh, go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you are not subscribed make sure you hit the notification bell to be notified whenever I upload a new video and until the next video hopefully the next thing I have coming for you guys is going to be us out and about because we do have something um, coming up next weekend that we want to do so I'm going to vlog that um, but until then you guys as I always say do something that makes you step out of the box do something fun don't forget to protect your peace and I will see y'all in the next vlog. Peace.